and welcome to Rotted Reviews. And today I'd like to talk about a movie that I saw a long while back and I was kind of hesitant to bring it back into the forefront and discuss it here for a few reasons. But I kind of got those answered when I released a fairly recent video of mine basically just kind of asking the world, is there a place for juvenile horror? And by juvenile, I don't mean kids. I don't mean Garfield's Halloween adventure. I'm talking about something that has complex and rich characters, but still not quite of the hostile and saw, you know, ilk of gore. Something with kind of preteen or teenage uh, protagonists, so on and so forth, that may offer some challenging material that would be good for adolescents, but not necessarily all the way back to being kid friendly. Many of you responded to that, and I'm very grateful for that. I apologize that I didn't get the chance to really respond to comments in that video. Things have been hectic, but I do appreciate it, and I do want to get at least say that verbally here. In light of the positive response that I got there, and a lot of people both acknowledging that a lot of young adults today are kind of being shown some of the more extreme things in terms of streaming options and not having to sneak their way into R-rated movies and so on, but also that there is still a place for that kind of little bit more pulled back, toned down juvenile horror. I did want to talk about the 2006 movie from Thailand, Dorm. Now I watched this movie on a lark back probably not too long after it first came out. And I remember thinking to myself, I mean, it was just kind of a lark. I had no idea what it was about, but I do remember thinking after I finished watching it that this would be a good movie for young adults. If you have a preteen or a teenager in the house and you want to introduce them to the world of horror, I think that this would be a good entry. The only caveat to that would be uh, if you can get them to sit still long enough to actually enjoy a foreign film with subtitles. A lot of people out there can do that, and a lot of preteens can do that, but I do think it's a little bit of a big ask. Some will just not take to it. But if you have children, or if you just enjoy this kind of movie that has the young adult protagonist and so on, I do think that I would strongly recommend Dorm. So this movie introduces us to the character of Ton, who is a young man that is basically being sent to boarding school to live in a dormitory and so on and so forth. He doesn't want to go. He's extraordinarily upset that his father has made this decision unilaterally without bringing him into it at all. He basically just got informed during summer break that this is where he is going once break is over. So say goodbye to your friends. Say goodbye to everything that you love at home. You are heading to a place where you are are just a number having to have communal cot living communal shower living everything about it is just kind of almost like churning kids out on a factory line and while there ton is having trouble acclimating he's having trouble making friends he's getting bullied by some of the residences that are already established there and some of their cliques but he does manage to finally get a friend when he comes across Vishian. And it doesn't take him too long to kind of realize that not only is Vishian very friendly and very uh, accommodating and always seems to be there when he's needed, but he is also, well, quite dead. Once the fear and initial shock of that run its course, Tan and Vishian become friends and they try to make their way together and help Tan acclimate to this new environment. And after a while, Tan wants to help Vishian because, well, like a lot of Asian ghost lore, Vishian has to constantly repeat the events of his death every night and Ton sees this and wants to break him free of that. So there's a whole lot about this movie that I really do like and not the least of which is the fact that horror is only one aspect of this. Uh, the supernatural is more of a backdrop. It's more of a catalyst. We have the character and what he's going through and the difficulties he's having. The conflicts that are arising have very little to do with the supernatural up until the point in which he tries to help Vishian. It's more just acclimating to this new way of life, forgiving his father, and kind of just growing up in a very difficult circumstance. This movie is a coming-of-age kind of thing that takes place over the course of this school year, and as a coming-of-age story, I think it was remarkably well told. As a ghost story, I think it was remarkably well told. Now, the DVD that I picked up of this is from the Palisades Tartan Asia Extreme. 
However, I am going to say that that's a pretty loose term. Uh, it's not very extreme. It's not incredibly scary. It does have a couple of disturbing, unsettling, and even some jumpy moments to it. But this is far from the scariest movie I've seen. This is more just a good character study. Tong's relationship with his classmates and with the teachers and with Vishian and with his father is really the selling point of this film. And watching him as he's going through what he does and how he overcomes conflict... That's really the gem of this. I really do believe that some of the best horror movies out there don't use the element of the supernatural as the entire crux of the story, but rather as a methodology in which to tell their story. Now, this movie is not without its faults. It does have some rough edges. Some of the effects don't really work entirely all that well. Uh, it's extraordinarily dark and muted in tone, but I think that that kind of serves the purpose of showing how Ton is kind of in this dreary state and he's kind of feeling alone. It has some weird, uh, well, <laughs> how do best to put this? Um, it's very urine-centric. A lot of the ghost stories that Ton is told by some of his bullying classmates uh, have to do with ghosts in the bathroom, that kind of thing. But there's a lot of wetting the bed, wetting the pants. Uh, there's, there's a lot of pee scenes. I'm not going to hold it against this movie. I think that there's a lot of cultural elements that kind of come into play here that make it a little bit more um, differing than a lot of traditional Western horror films. And that's all right. We're talking about a foreign film. And I think that that's another reason that this would be a good show for, I mean, the peace stuff aside, <laughs> this would be a good show for adolescents. Uh, not only is it a good introduction into horror, it's also a good introduction into other cultures. You know, it's one thing to kind of look at the documentary and textbooks and so forth but I think it's another thing entirely to actually look at some of the day-to-day -day minutia and life elements of normal everyday folk boots on the ground level of just seeing how people in other countries live and I think that that can be a very eye-opening and educational experience. So no, this isn't the goriest, this isn't the most well-polished, uh, and even on a storyline level up against some of its kind of brethren of like the devil's backbone, this doesn't hold a candle to that, to be perfectly honest. I still think that this was a remarkably good story, it was a good coming-of-age thing, uh, and it was a decent horror flick on top of all of that. So if you get the chance to check out the 2006 Thai movie, dorm i heartily recommend it thank you so much for joining me here today i look forward to seeing you on my next video remember next time you want to watch a horror movie first make sure that it's good and rotted